What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. We have a lot to unpack here. Uh, there's a lot going on. The Z is going through a little refresh. If you guys don't know, I am hosting my first ever drift competition at Willow Springs International Raceway out here in Roseman, California. It's gonna be November 4th and it's gonna be sick, but the Z has to be looking good. I can't show up to my own event with this thing busted, smashed indoors, wrap falling off. So it is time for a full refresh, which means a lot of work and I don't have a lot of time to do it. So let me catch you guys up to speed on what's been going on. As you can see, we already took some of the wrap off. I'm gonna continue doing that. Um, I'll save what we're gonna do for later. And we got some new doors. So you can see I have a new door on this side and my old door is sitting on the table there. Old door uh, had wiring, I took that out. Has the original crash bar and a lot of sheet metal. There's actually a bracket for the window up here. Check out the new door and what I did. So I cut out a lot of sheet metal, cut out the crossbar that was here. I wired up the door handle thing to still work just fine. Got rid of the door locks. And because I saved this original piece up here, which is like two or three layers thick, the door is actually still pretty sturdy. Happy with that. And with all that extra material out of there, I actually ended up saving about 12 or 13 pounds per door. So add it all up, it's about 25 pounds of weight savings. My doors were already gutted. There was no chance of running any windows. So might as well take it to the next level and save a few extra pounds. That's task number one I have to get knocked out today is we got to get the other door on and done. And I have to kind of keep working on getting this thing prepped so it will be ready to bring over to Logan at Defined Wraps so we can get this thing looking fresh again. Another thing on today's agenda is a new diff. You can see we have some right down there. If you guys watched the last video, I blew the diff out of this thing, or rather my welds failed on the diff and the plate flew out of it, which then destroyed the diff. So that thing's toast. I ended up stealing the diff out of the red crash Z. So at least I have something. I'll have to fix that car later, but for now it's crunch time on this thing. So we got to get it going. All right, so I've got some work to do. I'm going to throw you guys up on a time lapse, get this other door cut out, and then we'll get it thrown on the Z. So at least I can check that off the list. And just like that, this door is all cut out, looks good. I still have to put the, the striker and the door handle pull thing in, but other than that, we are good to go. Can check that off the list. We gotta move on to the fenders and getting the wrap off some other spots now. Like I said, it is crunch time. It's officially two weeks until my own drift competition at Willow Springs, which means this thing has to be looking good. And it currently does not. It doesn't even have front fenders. The front bumper is toast. We've got white doors, primered up quarter panels, a lot of work to get done and uh, don't don't mind what's on this table that's going to be in another video because that's a whole project in itself but we got to stay focused so now that the doors are done well mostly done i'm going to get the front fenders and we're actually going to do some work to those so that it, that is one more thing that's ready to get wrapped all right so i'm working on the bumper starting to take the wrap off got the fenders off and i just took a peek under here and realized there's a little bit of hidden damage under here that i probably should fix now, if you've been following since day one, or you know the history of this car, you'll know that it was a salvage title before I got it. It was crashed on the passenger side, and then I crashed it on the passenger side. So this side of the car has definitely seen some damage and apparently some sketchy repairs. So take a look at this. Not really sure what's going on there. You can see the seam is like separating all through there. It looks like somebody tried to do some sketchy spot welds. Um, I don't know. I don't like that. It's like actually coming apart. So I'm gonna clean that up, put some stitch welds around that little spot and hopefully that'll get the job done. Little trick for cleaning out areas like this where I plan to weld. I'm gonna use just a torch and I'm actually gonna torch along in there and then I'll come in with a wire wheel on a drill and like really get under that and that should take a lot of the paint out from that area and should give me a good surface to weld on. After a wire wheel on a drill, clean this section up real nice. You can see there were some ugly spot welds in there. Uh, it actually looks like the second layer here is totally fine. It looks like they replaced this like upper rail and just did a terrible job. So with that all clean, I'm just gonna stitch weld 
little bits along there. I'll make this actually connect and it should be fine. All right, not super proud of those welds. That was all just done with my cheap little flux core welder. Um, some of it is just terrible. I mean, I'm welding over already terrible welds, so it's not much you can do in that kind of sense, but whatever, it's cleaner than it was. It's way stronger than it was. It's actually like bonded together how it's supposed to be now, so that's a plus. I'm gonna throw some primer on this just so it doesn't weld. Eventually it'll get covered up with the fender. No one will know. Well, I guess you'll all know, but whatever. At least it's strong, it's not gonna fall apart and it'll get the job done. This front one was the really ugly one because like I said, that was just stacking weld on top of already terrible weld that they did before me. And these are like, whatever, for flux core, it's not the worst. All right, threw some primer on that, good to go. Let's turn our attention to the fenders. Now, before I show you guys what I've got in store for these things, we have to take the wrap off. I'm gonna throw you guys on a time lapse. Enjoy. All right, wrap is off the fenders. Check out this little trick I did. The bottom of this fender kept getting blown out the 10 mil and it would just come detached because it's only held on with one spot. I had to cut that for the cool side skirts. Big fender washer, just put a little bit of weld around it, tacked it in there. And now we've got double the thickness, way bigger surface area. Definitely not gonna tear the bolt out of that one. Hopefully this fender will stay on the car now. Okay, but really, what's the plan here? So these fenders are pretty hammered, especially this passenger side, because like I said, I crashed this thing on the passenger side. Uh, I also am running pretty big tires and I plan to go even bigger. So they have rubbed the fenders and buckled them over a couple times. We're gonna fix all of that with a pretty cool solution. Let me show you. We've got front over fenders or fender flares. Our carbon crown crafting, I think they're now called Hyper Hive. Um, they actually might be a replica, I'm not too sure. I got these secondhand on Facebook Marketplace for really cheap. They're a little rough, but overall they're not too bad. Gonna get this fender chopped up and start mocking this thing up so we can get some good fitment and get this thing ready to get rewrapped. If you're doing something like this at home, the first thing I'm gonna do is just kind of fold it in place and then trace around it with a Sharpie. That way I know where not to cut, right? Obviously I need to leave myself a good two or three inch lip for these to be riveted in place. We'll trace that out now and then get to cutting. All right, so as you saw, I got the fender cut. I've got this laying on top now. I drilled the first hole, put a little Clico in there. <laughs> these things are really cool. I have had this Clico set forever and never actually used it. And here we are. So got the first one in, ignore that hole, somebody else drilled those. Uh, and then we'll just kind of work our way along. Definitely doesn't fit perfect, but that's why I'm just holding this in temporarily. So I can move it around, get the fitment just right before I start drilling a bunch of holes in this thing. All right, been a couple hours. I set the camera down and got to work. Let me catch you guys up to speed. This side of the car, done, fenders on, looks great. Fits great. Other side. Same thing, got the door all buttoned up. It is working now, the latch is actually functioning and the fender is done. Looks super cool, I'm really happy with how that turned out. I wish I could run bigger spacers or more negative offset, but this car already barely fits on the trailer. So we're gonna leave that as it is. If you look at the door here, doesn't quite fit perfect. I think the frame where the hinges are is just slightly tweaked. It does open and close perfectly fine. So I'm not too concerned about a little fitment issues. I mean, let's be real. It's gonna get some tire marks. It may get bashed in again. <laughs> I hope not too soon because I did put a good amount of work into it. Yeah, the car's back together. The next step from here is gonna be doing some fiberglass repair. Uh, one of these fender flares, like I said, I got them used and this driver's side one has a little crack in it, nothing too serious. And then I've got my side skirts up there. One of those is pretty well cooked. I'm gonna have to put some real time into the fiberglass on that thing. And with any luck, I will have this thing totally prepped, ready to go over to Logan at Define Wrap so he can get this thing looking good again. 
Again, we only have, well, by now it's probably less than two weeks and he wants this thing in like two or three days. So I've got some work to do. Uh, the next step from here is gonna be getting all the wrap off the front bumper, which is harder than it sounds because it's so damaged. I mean, it's got so many scrapes in it and everywhere that the wrap is rubbed down, when you go to peel it off, it just rips because it's totally compromised. And that's, that's a lot of it. Shout out to KBD though. This thing still looks great, even though, I mean, like that's, yeah, there's, there's a lot there. We did start getting the wrap off this corner. So we're moving in the right direction. It's just kind of a slow, tedious process. It's funny with the fenders, the quarter panels and everything that was clean, it just pulled off in one shot, but wherever there's damage, it definitely takes a bit more time. back it's the next day i still have to finish this front bumper still have fiberglass work to do but before we get into any of that i have to get a diff in this thing so we can get it back on the ground and at least get it drivable so i can load it up on the trailer in just a few days when i bring it down to logan so i'm gonna set the camera down and get to work all right we've got the diff over here welded up sealed up full of oil ready to go just gotta let that rtv dry and then we can toss it in the car probably gonna do that tomorrow at least now it can hang out there and do its thing Front bumper is almost done. There's a couple little detailed spots I still have to get the wrap off of. Like right here is such a pain because it's all ground down from uh, scraping on the ground. Same thing with this front lower lip section, but most of it's done. I'm gonna spend a little bit more time on this front bumper, get it all wrapped up, and then it's time to tackle the fiberglass work on those side skirts. Camera's been down and I've been working. It's been a couple hours since I last picked up with you guys. So we've got all the bumpers, side skirts, everything's unwrapped back to its primer state. Let me show you what I've done. Obviously all the wraps taken off. I fixed this one corner. Uh, it just kept tearing right here. Every time the zip tie would break, the bumper would kind of like flop open and it would tear this little section here. So you can barely tell, but those are rivets. I riveted a steel plate about this big in here with four rivets. And then that's just some fiberglass reinforced body filler that I fixed the gap or crack with. That should hold at least for a little bit. Front bumper here, I fixed all the damage that was on the front. It was pretty bad because it had been ground down from, well, doing board slides and stuff. Threw some fresh primer on there. I do have to note the primer that I used was the same primer that's been on this thing the whole time. It's that SEM flexible primer. It's actually what KBD recommends for these bumpers. It works great. This has held up so well. When I pulled the wrap off, I was really surprised. None of the primer lifted with the wrap, which is a good sign that it was prepped properly and the primer was the right stuff. None of it cracked from flexing or anything like that. So if you have a KBD bumper, make sure you're using the right primer. I know they recommend that SEM flexible stuff. It works great. Now for the side skirts over here, these have been a bit harder compared to the bumpers just because they're fiberglass and one of them was really smoked. The driver's side here really wasn't bad. I just used more of this fiberglass reinforced body filler on a couple spots that were bad. You can see I already sanded that down. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about where it's like separating here cause that one, the other side is already totally destroyed underneath. So I'm not gonna bother fixing that. My main focus is just the stuff that you can see. And as long as it's actually structurally sound. This one here, you can see I've got some fiberglass on the front side. I already did fiberglass mat on the back side. So it is nice and strong. The front side is more just so for looks. So we fixed, there was a huge crack all the way along here, separating that lower lip from the top half. That's fixed. This was separating all along here. It's actually missing a chunk here, but I'm not gonna worry too much about that. And this lip here was all just kind of jagged and there was a big crack here. This was actually somebody's wheel. That was a nice door mark there. So that got fixed and there was like one other Oh, this tiny little crack here got fixed. Obviously still have body work to do on that once the fiberglass and stuff dries, but that stuff takes a while. So I'm just gonna leave it overnight. Front and rear bumpers are done. I can check those off the list. The passenger side fender flare is good. It just had a tiny little repair I had to make. I haven't touched the driver's side. That is gonna be the last bit of fiberglass I have to do. And then pretty much the car is good to go. All right, day two or three or I don't even know anymore. Just been coming home from work and working some more. Let me catch you guys up to speed because I have not been recording much. I literally just set my phone down and worked for the last like four hours and actually got a good amount done. 
as you can see, there's only one side skirt left over there. That was the most damaged one, and it's just about done. I have one last layer of that fiberglass reinforced uh, body filler stuff. I gotta sand that down, throw some primer on it, and I think we'll be good. Now it's definitely not perfect, but I fixed the big issues. It was split almost in half right here. It was split all the way down this rail, and then this piece was cracked kind of like that. So it's backed with fiberglass all along there, all in there, where it was cracked there, a couple of other spots. Obviously it's fiberglassed underneath this filler, and then that is on top. Front bumper, done, repaired, looks great. This is the other side skirt, repaired, looks great. The rear bumper, uh, I'm not gonna say it looks great, but it looks way better than it did. I ended up uh, riveting a metal plate on the back side of the bumper there. You can still kind of see the rivets. Um, that's what's gonna stop that from cracking because it was cracking all the way down here every time a zip tie broke off that. Both bumpers are good. The side skirts, one's good, one is almost good. The car is still on jack stands. I have not put the diff in yet, but it is ready to go. Uh, this side just has a tiny bit of filler I put on it because I'm gonna drill the hole through the front corner for a zip tie, I'm assuming. You can see just a little dab of filler there. I still have to sand that down. On this side, the damage was a bit more extensive. I uh, have a, uh, a wooden stick with some vice grips holding that in place just because there was a little crack here and it was kind of flimsy. So I'll sand that down tomorrow. This uh, shouldn't have really happened, but it did. So this was dented in pretty good from Drift Week, if you guys remember that. So I actually cut the metal back just enough to get a hammer in there, hammered it out, threw some filler on that. Obviously for that, I'm not looking for perfection. I'm just trying to smooth it out enough that when it's wrapped, you won't really get drawn to it. It won't be an attention grabber. At the end of the day, I really wanna put fiberglass overs on this thing and maybe even cut the back half of the car off one day. But for now, I think this is gonna look just fine. And we are getting really close to having this thing ready. I think one more late night after work, I'll have it on the ground, diff installed, all the body work done. And I'll probably end up just throwing it on the trailer. That way it is ready to go up to Logan's because we have to get there in pretty much a day now. <laughs> Still a long road ahead of us, but we're going to make it. This thing is going through a refresh that it really needed. And it's going to look absolutely sick come November 4th. So I hope you guys are going to be there. I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Like I said, fingers crossed this thing's on the ground and is not that far off from getting loaded on the trailer. All right, update here. It's the next day, another late night after work. Car's still on jack stands, but all the body work's done. I mean, I could still go around and like scuff up the primer I put on, but we're looking good. This spot all fixed on the fender flare here. Okay, it's not perfect, but like that tiny little detail, the wrap will cover that up. This corner here, it actually turned out way better than I thought considering I did a pretty terrible job. This fender flare looks good. This was the one that had a pretty decent crack in it. Again, it's not perfect, but once it's wrapped, you won't be able to tell. Side skirts out here on the trailer. This was the really bad one. Cleaned up pretty good. And as you can see, we've got a diff on the jack ready to go under the car. Gonna get that diff in, this car off jack stands, get all the arrow loaded up, get this thing thrown on the trailer because we are headed to Defined Wraps tomorrow. I'm probably gonna leave straight after work. That way he can have this car as soon as possible so he can have plenty of time to get it looking good. Late night, dropping off the Z here had the one and only defined wraps. All right, as you can see, I'm standing in an empty garage. It's exactly one week, seven days from Drift Roulette, high stakes, November 4th at Willow Springs. Make sure you're there, it's gonna be a sick event. But uh, yeah, don't have a car. It's over at Logan's, defined wraps. And he's putting some work into that thing. He sent me a couple little teasers and I gotta be honest, it is looking really cool. I can't wait to show you guys the new look. It's getting a new livery, full new wrap. It's gonna be a brand new car and it definitely needed it because that thing has seen some abuse. You guys will have to wait till the next video to get the full reveal, so make sure you're subscribed. That is gonna be a wrap for this one. As always, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And of course, I'll catch you in the next one.